The original Ridge Racer was a pretty mind-blowing launch title for the original PlayStation in the mid-90s, a classic arcade racer that really showed off the new console's potential. And a few years and a few sequels later, the series would be fine-tuned and overhauled into this, one of the most beautiful and stylish racing games of the era, R4 Ridge Racer Type 4. Released about a year after the racing simulator Gran Turismo, Ridge Racer 4 solidified its stance of arcade simplicity with fictional cars and highly approachable gameplay. You won't need to spend hours deliberating on how to best pimp your ride, and the play controls are pretty easy to get a handle on, with basic drift or grip control styles. And since there's no need to worry about realistic specs for the vehicles, there's plenty of creative liberties taken with the game's physics to keep things fast, fun, and challenging. But underneath the arcade hood, there's still a good deal of depth in R4. There's 8 tracks and over 300 unlockable vehicles, a huge step up from prior games in the series that were often criticized for lack of content. The Grand Prix mode also offers up a great single player experience that lets you take part in one of four different Namco flavored racing teams and then be sponsored by one of four different auto manufacturers, complete with some manager talking smack to you. And once you complete the Grand Prix mode at least once, you can play through the courses in reverse in the other game modes. And as far as the other modes go, the big change here was adding split-screen multiplayer, something never seen before in a Ridge Racer game. And despite R4's beautifully shaded textures and high-performance frame rates, it still runs like a dream with two drivers going head-to-head, -head, and it easily ranks as one of the top multiplayer racing experiences for the console. And with some other extras like some stylish menu designs and some kickin' electronic tunes that have become a signature for the series, it's hard to think of anything else that could improve this awesome package, but Namco even managed to include a wicked 60 frames per second remade version of the original Ridge Racer on a second disc included with the game. A great throwback and timely reminder of how gracefully the series had evolved in just five years. And while it may not have had the refined realism of the Gran Turismo series, R4 is still a standout racing game rich with energy and style that's definitely worthy of a checkered flag. <laughs> 